Hi, Eurek here. Uh, Dan suggested we do something new. Quick little videos that go into how to use S2 Docker, which is tooling around the Ethereum 2 clients. Um, so this is S2 Docker in five minutes or less today. How we're going to set up Lighthouse Nethermind on the Pyramont test network. Let's get going. All right, five minutes. Ooh, half a minute in already. Um, in the interest of time, I'm going to completely ignore things around security. So first, I'm going to grab myself the um, the product, uh, the project, the tool itself, git clone, and get the project and put that into say S2 Permont. Okay. Now this is a modular. Um, project or tool. The whole idea is that you choose one from column A and one from column B. So in this through the .env file. So I'm going to go in here and just check a few things. My local UID, that's really important. It is in 1000 in this case. Compose file. So I'm using the lighthouse base. Um, this is geth. I'm going to remove that and make that nethermind. And Grafana, that's fine. Uh, the Ethereum node is going to be nethermind. Graffiti, I don't care about right now. And then I, uh, Pyramond and Gurley, right, exactly. And then I need to uh, make sure these ports here are ones I'm not conflicting with other stuff running on my machine already. All right, so I'm just gonna up them a little. Okay. And now, Docker Compose. This will be a little f um, slower on your machine. Um, mine's already built, so it just, you know, grabbed it from cache. And I'm going to do a docker compose run uh, deposit CLI. I'm going to get myself the um, uh, a validator, one validator, 32 goeth. Now this is terrible um, practice here. I'm actually showing you my mnemonic. Um, don't do that, please. I'm also gonna copy paste it. Don't do that. Um, you wanna keep this safe, right? I'm actually gonna throw this away when I'm done. So I'm not um, actually going to deposit to this. Okay, and I have my keys. It tells me that that's var lib dep CLI data. That's true from where deposit CLI runs inside the container, but outside this is actually in Ethereum 2 um, validator keys. There it is. You can see it here, deposit data and key store. So the deposit data goes into Launchpad, the key store goes into uh, the uh, into the validator client. So in this case, I'm actually going to throw this away. And I'm going to move in the ones that I had actually um, set up for Permont. F2 and the validator keys star to F2 validator keys. Okay. So these are the real ones that I have deposited with, and then not the mnemonic you saw. And now we're going to import those Docker compose run validator import. Uh, do they all have the same password? Yep. Okay, password for the key store. Password is correct and it's in. Do not use original key stores to validate with another client, right? If you do that twice and you as um, a test during the same epoch twice, you're gonna get yourself slashed, which means uh, penalized heavily and force exited and there goes your eth. All right, uh, that should be it. So now we should be able to just do a Docker Compose up D eth2. Which brings up the entire stack. So you see here we got our node exporter, we got our Ethereum 1, that's Nethermind, Beacon, Validator, Prometheus, Grafana. Uh, how am I doing for time? Let's take a look. Oh, I'm out of time. Well, that's all we got today. Okay, kidding. Um, obviously, I can't do this in five minutes or less, so maybe we'll need to rethink that to 10 minutes or less. Uh, I do want to show you um, what we just did here, right? Uh, Dropper compose logs f eth1 
So we're going to take a look at the logs for Ethereum 1. This is Nethermind, and you see it's going here. It's downloading things. It's syncing. That's great. Let's take a quick look at the beacon. Um, failed to update F1 cache. Um, remote not synced, which is precisely what we're expecting, right? And we are, however, following here along with slot 87. Permond is up. So we're syncing. And my validator is awaiting activation. So I actually dodged a bullet here. I would be offline now because my F1 is not synced, but uh, I'm not activated yet, so I should be good. Let's take a quick look at uh, Grafana that we set up here. So let's just uh, go to Grafana. The um, password username is admin admin out of the box and then we want to set a new password okay and now Grafana needs to know how to get some data right so the first thing we're going to do is set up a data source um, there's a Prometheus running in a docker so Prometheus is the name, 9090 is the port, 90, there we go, and save and test, that worked, and now import a dashboard. Um, Lighthouse have this available on their site, dashboards, summary, and raw. Click in here, control A, control C, control V, paste that, load. And that's our data source. And here we are. Now I have a um, dashboard. Uh, I would, by the way, love a better dashboard for Lighthouse. If you're viewing this and you're um, motivated to uh, create something more exciting, please do. All right, now I'm done. Thank you so much.